okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. lived there my whole, not my whole life. I lived there. I'm from Pretoria. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. I got a friend named Ben Diesel who's going to love this. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, I wish I knew some more, like, local trivia to throw out, but no. Like I said, climb and talk about literally anything you want. Uh, I'm Ty, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Conrad. Conrad? Cool. Nice to meet you. And Lupa's the dog? Yeah, Lupa. They show Lupa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so normally the conversations we have are like anything that's important to you. Is there anything that really motivates you? Anything like you've wrapped your life around? Like, yeah, like a philosophy or like something that you strongly believe to be true? Anything like that. Those tend to be the more interesting conversations. We get to talk news. We can talk about TV shows if you want to. But like something that like really motivates you, like you centered your life around that'd be like a really cool thing to talk about uh wish to disappoint uh, I'm, I'm feeling bad to disappoint you but i don't i don't really uh have any philosophies that i revolve my life around but, okay i mean that's the one of, that's a philosophy isn't i it? like that <laughs> can we talk about that for like five minutes yeah hit me with okay it. so cool flipping over the hourglass anytime you want to walk away is cool but so you said are you saying then that you really don't need the philosophy to live yeah, that's very, very true. I don't need the philosophy, but then there's another philosophy in itself, so... Hmm, <laughs> that's true. So, what would you say is the reason why you have this stance where you don't need to have, like, a explicit, you know, philosophy to follow? Maybe it's comfort? Confidence? Comfort, comfort. Comfort. Com maybe maybe a little bit of confidence now that you said it. Yeah. I feel like it's... It's the fact that you're comfortable in where you are. Maybe. Okay. I yeah. Mean, I mean, even not where I'm. I was two years ago. Two years ago, I was a student in Stellenbosch mm -hmm. in South Africa. Oh <laughs> wow! Really? Where I'm from. I got friends in Pretoria. Oh okay. Yeah. 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 I yeah. lived there my whole not my whole life. I lived there. I'm from Pretoria. Oh okay. Oh whoa! I got a friend named Ben Diesel who's gonna love this. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I wish I knew some more like local trivia to throw out, but no. I, I guess then. Do you think then that someone needs to have a philosophy to live their life? It seems like you're doing well without it. I, I mean, definitely people do need a philosophy to live their life. And a lot of people revolve their life around living around a philosophy. But I feel like it's it's um, it's the... Um, for some reason, I, I apologize about this. But if for some reason, I'm coming back to about like the believing in religion. And so sure. On. It's a philosophy in life yeah. and living your life around it. And married to someone who is a religious person sure. uh, she does revolve her life around it so the fact that I can live mine necessarily close as close to hers as possible without revolving my life around philosophy you know kind of makes me more confident in my philosophy you know <laughs> why do you, you get what I'm saying why do you think some people cater towards living towards a, like a dogmatic point of view of life like what benefit do you think your wife or, or your partner gets out of that comfort Comfort? Like I said, comfort. comfort. Huh. Confidence. Is there a chance... I'm going to throw something out, and I'm just spitballing here. I like to just... <laughs> so no matter what you had, we would talk about, I always just, like, gently challenge it, no matter what. So, like, if you told me you like potato chips, I'd be like, <laughs> have like, you why? tried pretzels? <laughs> so, like, um, why haven't you been convinced of your wife's philosophy, I guess, then? Because we've only been married for a year and a half, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I've only known her. For, okay, I've known her for five years, which is a really good thing. But, yeah, that's good. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. Married only two years, and I mean, you never know what happens. I mean, they always say, you know, you have to open up your heart a hundred percent to get there. So that's probably the reason why I haven't, because I haven't opened my heart a hundred percent to get there. If you open up your life, your heart a hundred percent, and does does that necessarily make her belief true? Like, would you would you want to believe it if it was true? Like, is that like the limiter? Say you open up your heart and you and you believe it, but then you realize it's not true. Would you still keep believing it? Oh no, definitely not. No, no that's living a lie, <laughs> and, which is not living around philosophy of being confident in yourself and comfortable because you're not comfortable right there. So okay, okay, okay. The, you know, you don't live in an uncomfortable place. I mean, I'm not gonna to believe in something just because someone else that puts me in an uncomfortable place, you know? Then how do you figure out if something is true and if something's not yeah, true? Yeah, see, if they open up your heart 100 percent, which is that means, a good reliable way to figure out if something's true? They see that's the big argument, you know. It's like, does it? Because that's what I tell myself as well. All the sure. Time, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So that that is a big argument, and you're totally correct. It, just believing in it 100 percent doesn't make it true. So, you know, that's where the whole problem with does he exist, does he not exist, come from. You know. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because you believe in him 100. percent Is do you think? 
I don't know is a good answer for that, at least for now. <laughs> I feel like that should be forever until you meet him. <laughs> until you meet him. <laughs> Even if I meet him, I feel like there could be a hallucination, right? Like, <laughs> well, I'm like, oh, already, so okay. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so the way how I think about it, and I'm just throwing this out, like if I had a coin, right, and okay. I flip it, and it's heads or tails, and it's on the back of my hand, and I don't know if it's heads or tails. Do you know if it's heads or tails? I think it's heads. You think it's heads? <laughs> Well, you can think about it whatever you want. This is America. You can think whatever you want. But, like, thinking about it doesn't make it more likely to be heads, right? It doesn't, right? doesn't, exactly. So I think at this point, until we have better information, I don't know might be the best answer. Exactly. That's my philosophy. What do you think about that? Oh, that, that's definitely a good philosophy because that's what I always say. It's I, my philosophy in this, and you did start off with this, and I told you I have nothing but my philosophy in that, not in life, is... If I live a good life, mm. at the same principles and the same values, without following, right? I understand you know what, what you're saying? saying. Yeah, I get it. Same principles, same values. Without letting someone else think for you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. There yeah. you go. And I said, like, what should I have to lose then? Because I haven't vehemently rejected. Mm. Yes, I have not uh, <laughs> um, graciously accepted mm. <laughs> either point of view. I'm more in the middle, but then person in the middle can't always be a winner you know you have to it's a very confusing stance and it makes everyone kind of like nervous because anybody can be in the middle then Why exactly everybody be in the middle then? yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have to choose a side and i'm still in the middle and i should choose a side i feel I like you don't to. have to choose a side why do you have to choose a side because then you're gonna live in your life always looking at both sides and being like oh you don't know it's always a little bit of oh, ha, he, ho, ho, ha. i love to hear what you think about this from my perspective if i only care about believing in true things i'm only gonna wait in that middle ground until someone has better evidence. I yeah. think that's the most valid place to but be. But that said, that there's a third point then. There's Ooh. not a middle then. Oh. Because then you have to, because a middle means that there is a truth to both sides, don't you think? There's a side mm. to both sides. Thus, you can decide and know which side it is, which the third place would be where you don't know and there's no facts to back up either side. So, just so I get this right, <laughs> there's a chance that both sides might be wrong. Like yeah. the both extremes might be completely wrong, and that the most intellectually honest position is just the "Hey, I don't know until I have better evidence." Which is true, and that's a third ground, which and is that's not the third on a fence. Ground. But then there would be a fence for both sides as well. So there'd be two fences instead of one. <laughs> so fence. there's two fences. <laughs> okay, so we're out of time, but I appreciate it. Of like, course, man. Conrad, thank you so much. It was a great having man. this chat with of course, you. Of course, man. Oh, wait, um, tie. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want, good job. If you want, you can take a card. I got, I put up all the rest of the videos that I have with other people, and if you like them, check them out. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. Say hello. Bye. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, okay.